name is Abra and today I am taking you with me my studio apartment bedroom tour. So I actually created a separation in order for me to create this bedroom space and this as well as the bedroom tour is part of a larger series that I have on my channel about redecorating a small apartment and if this is something that you feel you'd be interested in then please by all means subscribe like this video and activate the notification bell and share this content with anyone you think would be interested so my bedroom is definitely one of the most important spaces here in my apartment that's why i made sure to build it around this idea of quality of sleep and as far as the vibes go in this space i wanted something very relaxed very peaceful and sort of minimal as well So in this space, I will definitely say that the first thing you see upon entering is my bed. It is big and I bought it from Ikea, I think at this point it was four, maybe five years ago. Same goes with the mattress that is super comfortable and it's really big but I don't really mind it anymore. At first it was pretty overwhelming since the idea was to actually have a compact bed that I could just, you know, rearrange in a sort of like sofa uh, during the day. But there was a mistake uh, when the order was delivered and I just ended up with this bed. But, you know, like I said, now I'm pretty used to it. I would say that one of my favorite things about my bed is definitely the linen sheets that I've chosen for it. I have a white set and this one. They're both from a French store called La Redoute. Like I said before, I will put the link in the description down below. I love the linen sheets. I think they're so comfortable and they're so light as well. Definitely, when it comes to the color palette, I stayed with very earthy, neutral tones that I feel are very relaxing for me. I've developed a morning and night routine that I, at this point, have been implementing for maybe six to seven years. I make my bed every day. Day. that's literally one of the first thing I do when I wake up I just do it because I feel like it really ties my room together and that's just also a way for me to start the day on a bright note one thing that I can share it's sort of like a little trick that I do when it's time for me to go to bed or when I'm feeling a little anxious for instance I like to spray my pillows with some essential oil that I have diluted with water I go for my favorite smells so I really love lavender I also very much enjoy frankincense frankincense hopefully that's how you pronounce it um but yes that essential oil i have quite a few other let's say tips and tricks when it comes to both my morning and my night routine so if this is something that you're a bit curious about please let me know in the comments down below because i will be very happy to film that video this is the first of my two nightstands and this is the one that I use the most. I try and keep it as clutter free as I can. So that's the reason why here you have my candle by Lumira and then we have one of my favorite oil perfume called Vanilla Bean by Kumba Maid. It's really nice and has a very sweet smell that I generally enjoy so I use this sometimes to go to bed sometimes in the morning oh there you go here is my frankincense oil as well you know the one i was telling you about earlier we also have my matisse frame i have a homemade tray that i made years ago and then we have my salt lamp which i actually don't think it's a real salt lamp i don't know i read somewhere that salt lamp are supposed to like shrink with time and this one has literally never moved so yeah that's why i don't think that's a real one and so on my other nightstand all i did is put a lamp on top of it i really enjoy that one i think it's so pretty um i believe it's from urban outfitters but that was like years ago and so here we have one of my favorite spaces in my bedroom and that is my chilling nook at least that's how i named it it's a space where i get to read where i drink tea where i play with my phone sometimes where i journal just anything that i want to do that is you know like a relaxed activity but that is not necessarily something i want to do on my bed that helps me when it's time to go to bed my brain knows this is where you sleep this is not where you get to you know read or be on the phone and so like that really helps me just fall asleep quickly so the chilling nook i think is a fun space to make yourself because all you need really is a sofa or a chair or whatever it is that you like to lounge in uh, i also got my old ikea stool i put my 
marble tray on top of it my favorite moment to be in that space is actually at night i usually set the ambiance for my whole bedroom actually i light some candles put some music on i just sit there get myself some tea and just hang out definitely wanted to spend some time talking about the art in my apartment. You've seen my Matisse uh, frame near my bedside table and now I wanted to spend some time talking a little bit about what is near my bed. So the theme here is balance and I intentionally chose it because I knew this was probably amongst the first thing I'll see first thing in the morning and one of the last thing I will see before going to bed. So this is just a print that says balance. I especially love these words. I feel like they're really grounding when I read them. Balance is the key in everything you do. Live high and low. Move and stay still. Embrace all sides of who you are. In the middle, we have a print that I actually made myself. Um, yeah, I just did that one afternoon. I was kind of bored of the fact that my wall felt very white and I wanted some brown and some, you know, black, just something to kind of link up with my bed. Here we have my vanity table. So I ended up re-recording this part of the video just because I changed how I set up my vanity table. I took away a bunch of stuff because I wanted it to feel and be a bit more minimal. Um, so what you're seeing right now is a lot of my jewelry, the beauty products that I use mostly in the morning and at night. You can see a bit of what I put on my skin um, just really rapidly because this is not a beauty video. I have a bunch of products from Glossier. I've also purchased a new night oil called Dream 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 by Neighborhood Botanicals. I've been using it for a month now and my skin loves it so far. I like how this table is looking. It's very minimal, which I really enjoy. I've added some decor pieces as well, like my Biredo box that I bought a while ago, now empty. I have a mirror that I took from my parents' home when I first moved to Paris, as well as my candle and my vase. Because I live in a studio apartment, I'm aware the smells definitely travel and the smell of whatever I've been cooking definitely might end up in my bedroom. So every morning I open the window to let fresh air in. Lately, I've been playing with Palo Santo and I have added a candle by PF Candle Co. I love how the smells combine. My Kumba made oil also gets a mention, though this is not something that is in the air because I use it on my wrists. It just feels like anytime I'm going to bed, like I smell like vanilla and I really like that. As I've mentioned previously in the video, I also love making my own sprays, usually using an essential oil. I've concentrated quite a lot of effort to capture as much natural light as I can in my apartment. That's literally one of my joy when it's sunny outside and I just get to enjoy the light. I love that. It just really lifts up my mood. I've also replaced my old curtains with linen curtains just because I enjoy the fact that like it means that it's never really dark in my apartment. That's definitely a choice, but for me, that's one that works. I've also talked previously in the video about candles and my salt lamp. These are source of lights that I use usually to set a mood when it's the evening and I'm just trying to create an ambiance. So that is it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked it, then you can subscribe to my channel. There will be videos on home decor up every Wednesday. You can also give this video a thumbs up. Any of these actions will be very helpful since it will show the YouTube algorithm that my video is liked and they will be showing my video to other people. So if you wanna help me, 
that is the best way obviously that is not an obligation you can let me know in the comments down below what type of decor you went for in your bedroom i'm actually pretty curious to know like what type of vibes and why all right see you next time